Okay, let's switch gears to everyone on here knows that I love assessments. I love assessments around the context of like learning more about ourselves, taking what resonates. I don't like assessments that are, oh, you're this, so this means this is who you are. And oh, you scored like that. Like, I think it's up to us to interpret our own results and take yeah. what resonates. And you taught me about an assessment that I had never heard of. Tell us. It's the BOSI BMA assessment, B O S I. It was developed by Joe Abraham, who wrote Entrepreneurial DNA, um, I think 2011, it was published. And, uh, and I worked with Joe for a while. Uh, he was a business partner of mine. And what it is, is and, and he's very clear also that it's not, this is not who you are. It's the entrepreneurial lens you're looking through right now. And it can change and evolve throughout your life. It can change depending on your role, whether you're an employee or you own a company. Um, so, it, so it's not something that's set in stone, but it's very simple. Um, it's only 10 questions or 20 questions on the advanced assessment. And, and this is what I administer at Rice University's MBA program uh, in their entrepreneurship classes in, in all three of their MBA programs. And, and so basically there's a breakdown of four main types of entrepreneurs, right? So one is the, the builder, and the builder is about 10% of all entrepreneurs, and, and the builder thinks in infrastructure, they're very good at scaling things. Um, everybody wants to be the builder, <laughs> but not everybody has that DNA. Um, but their Achilles heel is other people. So they tend to be narcissistic. And so when you have a self-aware builder, it's really an amazing organization. Um, but if you read all the uh, Harvard Business Review, they talk about the big CEOs of, of big companies, they tend to be jerks, you know, and they have kids that don't talk to them and they've been married several times and they can't keep, keep employees, right? Um, so that's builder. Then you have opportunist and the opportunist is, you always want opportunist DNA in your salespeople. Um, you don't, you know, the more opportunist DNA you have, the shorter the relationship uh, of that sale. So somebody door to door would be super hardcore. Oh, and that would be somebody who sky is always blue. They get the door slammed in their face. They, you know, they just keep going. It doesn't bother them. Super optimistic, but their Achilles heel is squirrel. <laughs> They're all over the place, right? Uh, they, they have, you know, you, you might know somebody who has a sales job. They're also licensed in real estate. They're doing some type of a marketing thing. They're, if, if they if they just got all those horses moving in one direction, they would probably do really well, but because they're so scattered, you know, they might not be getting traction, right? Then you have the specialist. The specialist is the complete opposite of the opportunist that loves risk. They're risk averse. People who have letters after their name, they've been in the same industry their whole life. You know, think of your, your stereotypical accountant um, that they're very good at service, um, it's, it's, it's light for them. It's, it's something that brings them energy to, to serve people, but their main driver is reputation. Their Achilles heel is they don't ever want to look salesy. So if they own a company, they want it to be all referral based, but if you don't have a big enough base of clients, you can't have a referral based business. And so they don't want to look like a used car salesman. So they, they, that's their hardest thing is how did they build their business and not be salesy, right? Um, and then there's the innovator and the innovator, uh, their best place to be is tinkering and creating, whether they're a writer or a chef or an inventor, that's their thing. They're mission driven. They're all about how they want to change the world. And their Achilles heel is really a lot of just about anything related to business because they, they, they're so caught up in the mission, they don't see the other stuff and they, they'll hire a friend and family because they're on board with the mission and not necessarily the best people that are gonna help accomplish the mission. And so they make a lot of business mistakes because they're, they're, they're mission driven and not, not thinking of the, the mechanics of the business itself. Huge, I had never heard about this assessment. And the cool thing is, you know, the, the, it, yes, it's called the bossy DNA for entrepreneurs, but I, I believe, and I know you do too, Paul, that anyone can be an entrepreneur. It's, this isn't, an entrepreneur we are entrepreneurial. You have your own business. We all are. Yes. It's like we're entrepreneurial in the way that we do our work and the way that we live our lives. And so for me, um, my number one was builder and my number two was opportunist. And we had everyone on the team take the assessment. 
And I remember reading what you said about the builder that, you know, the Achilles heel is people. You get so focused on the infrastructure, growing the business, scaling the business that you sometimes leave people in the dust. And, and I, I, and, and they all work so slow. Yeah. So I would like to think that I am on this more self-aware builder side, though I'm also, well, I'm also very aware that I wasn't always that. And one of the things that we did in our work together, I remember reading the bossy book and there was a, a prompt of, of an idea of sending a survey to people who are in your life and asking them how they would describe their relationship with you. Sent it to the team, sent it to some friends, sent it to Spiros, my parents, my sister. And it really made me aware of some blind spots. Like one of the things I recognized is I expect people to keep my pace. I, you know, it was a very eye opening. Okay. I need to really think about this. So that assessment just made me more intentional about as I'm building a company, I have to be very mindful of how I show up as a human because my brain, I'm naturally wired to just be like, we can go here. <laughs> Can't you guys see it? And everyone's like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and, and in, in business, it's really about partnering and, and hiring people who don't think like us. And, yeah. you know, you, you want, you want all parts of that B O S and I to be full, fulfilled. Right. Um, right. you know, you, you're going to need people that are doers and just doers and, and they get stuff done. So you need the specialist, you, you, you need to constantly innovate. So you need some of those creative thinkers on your team too. So, so that, you know, you can pivot and, and have some out of the box ideas that might really put the business on track. Um, and if you don't have somebody selling things or can promote what you're doing, you know, you need that opportunist. Um, the, the, the traditional thing, I've, I've done this in a lot of big companies, probably the biggest thing that I see in companies all the time is the sales team and the operations. And it's like, the, the upper yeah the operations is is just like i can't believe you promised that to them how we're the ones that actually have to do it we can get it done and then of course the 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 sales team is going hey well, can't you guys get it together you know you need to deliver this you know i'm in front of the client here and this needs to be done you know otherwise i look like a jerk you know like so 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 when they can understand each other when operation and sales can understand each other that's huge that, that and have empathy and understand that wow I can't do that and the other one goes I can't do that yeah. um, and 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 you really get you know you can build a, a much better interaction huge we had our whole team take it look at uh, Amanda's put everyone's results in here I would encourage you take the bossy assessment search you can find it Re Rachel put the link in the chat there's a book that goes along with it if you're on a team having everyone on your team do it huge 